Cerberus is, is located in Grey Ruins. So just, you know, go to the ticket from St. Haven, go to Calderock Village, and then just go to Grey Ruins. But for now, we're not able to run it. Um, due to the transition from 32 to 64, um, the devs will still need to edit the minimum amount of uh, players to enter Cerberus. So right now it requires two, which, you know, we, we can't really enter since we're doing it alone, but, you know, hopefully the devs will be updating that to only a minimum of one. Um, regardless, uh, there will be updates on it, so that should not be an issue. So for now, uh, doing your co-ops would be the best bet in obtaining gold, which is essential for upgrading, um, due to the fact that, you know, the lucky zone is unfortunately interfering with the rewards from mission board so that's it's really something that is a known issue but you know the devs are working on it okay so once you have your gold once you have your materials and you know join a guild that's gonna be another great tip would be to join a guild because they will help you run uh, your raids so we have an RGM uh, channel on our miracle discord so feel free to to post there if you're looking for a guild uh, regardless of you know if you're an Indonesian Vietnamese, uh, Filipino, uh, an American player, you know, English player, or whatever kind of player you are, you know, feel free to join any guild. The important thing is that you have fun in, you know, joining your guild. Okay, so that's about it for this newbie guide. It's it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward um you know that's that's really it for you know newbie guide is it's just you know straight up honest farming you really don't need to you know do anything extra it is just straight up farming fatigue is not an issue so again you can just purchase it from Kelly you know nest spamming is free so you don't really need to do you know, anything extra it's just a question of how much faster you want to progress with your character in terms of PvE because that's going to, you know, reflect the amount of uh, results that you're going to get. Okay, so since we're done with um, the newbie guide, um, so we're going to go straight, straight up. We're going to go to uh, Lunar Farming. So for Lunar, um, I'm just going to pull that here give me just a moment okay. right so for lunar um, we have here uh, a drop table so it's lunar and kilos related info so kilos on the left side as you can see it also indicates here enhancement that the required materials and all that stuff also additional stats for it uh, right side would be for kilos so the drop table would tell you um, the location and the type of fragments that they're gonna 
provide. So Daedalus Nest would be Ardent and Tailwind. Uh, Granum would be Pitch Black and Tailwind. Both are located in Rodimus. And then we've got Volcano for Burning and Tailwind. Guardian for Ardent and Burning. Uh, Mist for Crystal and Tailwind. Oh god, I hate this nest. Um, they're all located in Annual Arendelle. Uh, and then we've got Serpentra, which is uh, Crystal and Pitch Black. Manticore for Holy and Ardent, uh, both located in Hermalti. Uh, Professor K, or PKN, Pitch Black and Holy. Archbishop, or ABN, Holy and Burning. Uh, Gigantus would be Crystal and Holy, uh, both located, or not both, all of them located in Riverworth Wharf. And then we've got uh, Mercus Port, uh, which is Chiron, or CN, or Chiron Nest, uh, for Crystal and Burning, and then TKN, or Typhoon Kim Nest, would be Pitch Black and Ardent. Um, it's no longer Grey Ruins, so this is now located in uh, River Wharf as well, so this will have to be changed. Um, but yeah, that's for the drop table on it. For specific, um, you know, requirements for Jade, uh, the gear, and all that stuff. So there is another drop table. So this is specifically for Lunar Jades. So this will be the gear, the Jade, and the quality. So for Helm, you will you will need Holy and Crystal. Uh, the normal crafting would be 100 fragments each, upper body, so on and so forth. So from normal to rare, you're going to need 300 of each. And then from rare to magic, it's now going to be high fragments. The exchange rate would be... One high fra uh, high fragment lunar material to 85 normal fragments, so one of 85. So we will need 15 high fragments. So to do the math, right? Let's just get a, our calculator. So we'll need 15. So multiply that by 85. 1,275. Uh, pieces. If you run at the highest labyrinth, I believe that was. I'm not sure. It was between 220 to 240? Perhaps. Let's see. Let's let's just run one and see what's the exact, you know, quantity. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Hang on a bit. my setup I believe I uh, totally forgot okay let me just reassign my stuff right Forgot. 
for some odd reason. Great. Okay. I can't recall for some odd reason my own skill setup. Right. Ah, uh, bury me while I try to ponder. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. For some odd reason I somehow forgot my own skill setup for my main. But I was finally able to get it. So we're just gonna run Manticore at the highest light bird. Okay? So I'm just gonna cut the video and just, you know, show you uh, the entire thing at the end for the drops. See you in a bit. Okay, and we're done. So, yeah. Okay. So we get. 240 of each uh, normal fragments and one uh, lunar stigmata and some cash as well so right so going back to our drop table so as we progress from normal to rare to magic to epic to unique you know, you are going to get, you know, well, it's going to require a whole lot of materials. Now, these drop tables are actually located under the share content as well. So you may refer to them freely. And so we got the Lunars um, covered. Uh, lunar Jades also will provide you with, you know, some skill enhancement, if, if I may say so. Um, let me show you those. So, here you go. So, evolving the Lunar Eclipse uh, weapon jades will provide you with any of these. But random, it's it's randomly add. It randomly adds one type of, you know, substat, as we may refer to it. Okay. So that information is actually on. Um, I I will be posting that one as well for you know reference, under the shared content. So. That should not be an issue for you guys. Okay, next up would be the runes. Runes would be crafted through Berlin or Merlin. So we've got triangular, circular, the rectangular, trapezoid. Um, crafting each rune would require you know, certain materials. So for triangular, it's going to be rune ores, rune mana, platinum ingots, uh, concentrated darkness crystals. Circular would be same. These two would, would always be the same requirement all across the board for the runes. So cat's eye and te uh, tetra stone fragments. For rectangular would be the minus librium and the maze fragment. For the trapezoid would be 
lapis and the gold lotus crown okay so forging the or crafting the the runes will provide you random stats and that's gonna range from any stat to any skill enhancement the skill would be between I'm not sure about the lowest but the highest would be a 257 percent skill amplification that's gonna be the highest for it but for the lowest I'm really not sure how much the lowest would be but you wouldn't want to get the lowest so um, the next thing to note for runes as well you are not able to enhance them under the unique or the legend grade enhancement for the runes would be applied only to the ancient uh, quality so for ancient runes you will need to farm rune essence which is at a let's just quote unquote 55 percent um chance okay quote unquote 55 but so far i have been very unlucky all my life haven't gotten any of that um but yeah so enhancement only happens at ancient rarity another thing to note is the origin which further amplifies your runes for frozen ancients origin you will need to craft or exchange through the silver dragons first field the npc outside of fission maze give you a moment So, Grazini, not that here, okay, so for origin, you will need 10,000 gold and 30 rune fragments, okay, uh, we will also get the prophet's memory fragment, you know, if you wanna forge it, I mean, exchange it. But for, you know, the, the forging process or the crafting process would be getting the Ancient's Origin. And once you get the Ancient's Origin, all you have to do is to enhance it up to plus 10, I believe. That's the max for it. And once you get the maximum uh, enhancement to 10, you will then need to disassemble that same Origin in order to get the the yellow fragments to craft the orange not, not the yellow but the orange fragments in order to craft this one so keep in mind when you disassemble the plus 10 origin from the fission npc maze um, npc um, these are random so when you disassemble it, you might get this, you might get this, you might get this, or you might get this. Second time you disassemble, you might get a duplicate. R.I.P. Third disassemble, you might still get another duplicate yet again. R.I.P. So it's a lengthy process. My advice would be to keep spamming fission that is so far the most the fastest way this fission now drops cat's eye and the tetra stone fragments as well you may still use the uh, vibrant dragon jade that has the uh, uh, final damage to obtain the tetra stone but cat's eye is going to be your challenge so you can get cat's eye from uh, spamming fission maze as well um hopefully uh the update 
will kick in. Uh, that is for Cloister. So Cloister will provide another uh, route for farming the the rune crafting process. So uh, we might be able to get the platinums from Cloister. So if you have plenty of the concentrated darkness crystal, so you may spam that. Or if you have you know, a whole lot of base fragments that you may. Um, this is now another viable um, option since, you know, getting the, the dark red boxes would be faster now. And then gold lotus crowd, if that is added to the, uh, the cloister map, then this is going to be another, you know, route for farming. Okay, so pretty much um, that is um, the latest for, you know, the mid to end gear phase of the game. Um, there is the cursed um, end of dreams, but in, in my, you know, personal experience or opinion, um, getting the Cursed End of Dream weapon um, at plus 10, I believe, is virtually impossible at this stage. Because for some odd reason, it has a chance to fail. Well, you only have a 33% chance to get a successful enhancement so you know it's really not worth much in my opinion because that would give you like what 30 percent i believe of attack and magic attack without any elemental so if you're already at you know end game and you were able to get the the Slayer equipment, and the Slayer accessory, then you will run into an issue of getting a damage bug. So as I have um, noticed, the cap for the damage is now at 2.4 bill. So I think it was higher before. But since this is, you know, following the latest Korea patch, then we're looking at 2.4 bill for the damage cap. So getting too much damage would be a negative, you know, a negative impact, especially if you're getting full buff, you're running raids, you're getting a whole lot of buff from, you know, your teammates. And then you're gonna hit that ceiling, and then you're not gonna do any damage. So, in my opinion, getting the the frozen uh, equipment would be the best idea, uh, since the frozen equipment provides uh, all attribute attack. So, now let's say for example this. So this provides. Uh, 30 percent uh, elemental attribute which the cursed end of dreams does not have though it the cursed end of dreams does provide 30 percent raw attack power and a higher base attack power as well again once you hit that cap all that attack power is just gonna go to waste and you can easily get, you know, your attacks, your attack power stats from the Lunar Jades as well. So, it, it's totally your preference, but in my opinion, I wouldn't really want to go for the Cursed End of Dreams. Um, yeah, um, Kilos is really not that worth it. Um, why? 
when you have noticed that it does have well kilos has three slots for the jade so you may equip the attack defense lunar jades but the big question is your equipment point so it actually eats equipment points or EP so I won't really want to recommend it if you don't have you know enough EP if you don't have any you know donation coupons to purchase the EP um, but yeah that's pretty much for uh, the kilos I mean it is survival wise attribute wise it gives a whole lot more it doesn't have the set bonus but it definitely gives out more attribute but the downside is the EP consumption okay so another uh, update is that you are now able to enhance the passion jades so when we say the passion jades we're talking about you know uh, BBM uh, Bryn Balkov and Muertos and that should be here okay so you're now able to um, enhance those to plus 15 and getting the materials would be through cursed um, ABN or Typhoon Kim with three limit per reset another good place to you know get materials would be through storyteller and PC then that's going to be through the mountain climber mission box now take note that you are only able to uh, get or purchase once a week per account not per character per account okay so that's another thing that you need to note and you won't be able to clear this in a day because um, might might be around mission 5 where you need to send 11 likes to other players um, it's not a question of the population it's a question of the limit because you can only like uh, a maximum of 10 per day so that's gonna have to wait until tomorrow in order for you to proceed but yeah pretty much that's the latest update for you know gears and materials another thing that you also want to note is that uh, NPC David is now updated and you may now exchange your normal fragments to high-grade fragments for your lunar again the exchange rate is at 85 and you can now purchase your own buff your oath and your dragon buff it will require blue star and hopefully that's going to be added into you know the uh, the cloister uh, you may also get your ancient end of dreams um, you can now exchange goddess heraldry certificates as well through uh, the tickets so pretty much there there are a lot of additions but these two are really important for the buff um, for the Miku buff or the this buff miracle blessing buff sorry not Miku but miracle blessing you will need to go to Kelly second page purchase this item converter okay let's purchase that and then teleport to this speak with this NPC go to buff 
active Miku buff. And there you go. The entire players in the entire Saint Haven will acquire this buff. Okay. So pretty much that's about it for the updates on the guide for Miracle Dragon is at 64 bit. Um, do expect uh, more updates, adjustments uh, within the next few days, weeks. Uh, the devs are pretty busy in fixing the bugs as well, making sure that everything is covered. Um, but yeah, that's about it for today's video. This have been Miracle Dragonist, and I hope to see you all in-game. Have a great Christmas ahead.